Wade Paquin with The Build Show on this week's episode, Why Ductwork Should Be Installed in a Conditioned Space. So this week we're on one of our active uh, construction sites. This is a new custom home under construction. I'm in the attic, which is very much a uh, work in progress, but I was poking around up here just doing my weekly walkthrough. And I just am always reminded when I see ductwork and insulation on the roof deck, how important these conditioned spaces are for installing uh, ductwork. So I'm gonna to touch on two things, and this will be, I think, a fairly quick video. Um, efficiency and comfort, which I think are kind of the two most important things to look at here when installing um, an HVAC and ductwork system in an attic. So when I talk about a conditioned space versus an unconditioned space or a vented space, let me explain that. So you can see our roof deck is insulated here with uh, closed cell foam insulation um, and then filled with open cell. It's just kind of a, a cost efficiency um, thing that we like to do instead of filling it all with closed cell. Um, but this roof deck is insulated down to our top of our wall plates and our wall assemblies are obviously insulated and so on and so forth. So we have this uh, continuous border, if you will, of insulation, right? So that's gonna be our thermal envelope. Anything outside of that is outside of our envelope. So if we did not insulate our roof deck and we insulated just the ceiling joists here underneath me, and this was now a vented attic, so maybe the soffits have some vents in it and the ridge has a vent, and we're pulling outside air through this space, venting it, and we still had our ductwork up here, that's a big no-no, right? We are trying to push warm air through effectively and essentially outside uh, air uh, environment, <clears throat> meaning that gradient temperature between inside of the ductwork and outside of the ductwork, if this was a non-conditioned space, a vented space, <clears throat> would result in tremendous energy loss and, and thermal loss and efficiency of the system and overall optimal performance of the system. Um, so that's why we like and always prefer on all of our jobs to install ductwork in a conditioned space. Oftentimes we use attics like we're in now and sometimes we use a basement or a crawl space, right? We'll have uh, our foundation wall and under our slab insulated so we have that continuity of, continuity of our thermal envelope and we can install a zone in the basement and floor feed the first floor, put a couple zones or, or what have you in the attic and ceiling feed on the second floor. But by having the ductwork within the conditioned space, we're increasing the performance of the system, right? The, the difference in air temperature between where I am outside of this ductwork and the ductwork is much, much lower than it would be if this was a vented space and this air was much cooler, right? Um, now that's even further worsened because most ducts, I think the study says about 20% leakage is, is common. Um, and if this was outside of that thermal envelope, you're effectively losing that energy to the outside. So it's, it's just tremendous waste. Um, so that's the uh, efficiency side of things. On the comfort side of things, um, obviously what we just talked about by having the ductwork in a conditioned space and being able to have an efficient system and have it run optimally, that's gonna provide um, you know, a warmer air that the thermostat's calling for. It's going to you know, increase that comfort on that side of things. But when this is not in, when the ductwork is not in a conditioned space and it's in a vented space, um, it can create pressure imbalances. And when you have a pressure imbalance in a home, that can lead to moisture problems. And moisture problems lead to what? Rot, mold, and when you have those two things present in your house, now you have poor air quality and that can be a health problem, obviously. So, um, you know, we see these type of applications a lot, meaning uh, ductworks installed in unconditioned spaces. I actually had um, somebody I know recently came to me and said they were renovating their house and they were just kind of telling me what they were doing and they were adding a new HVAC system and the HVAC contractor put the equipment and the ductwork in the attic, which was a vented space. It was not a conditioned space. So his ceiling joists underneath me were insulated. None of this was insulated. So it was effectively outside of his envelope. So he, you know, I told him about the importance of this and now he's gone back to his HVAC contractor to reevaluate things and probably is going to 
um, pull up the insulation in his uh, attic floor, the ceiling joist, and insulate his roof deck um, so he can optimize his uh, new HVAC system. So it is very common to see this type of system, ductwork and you know, a furnace and air handler in an attic in a vented um, or unconditioned space, which uh, is a big no-no. So I just want to get on here. Maybe it's more of a little bit of a PSA, I guess, but um, I do think it's very important. All of our homes, um, we always install our systems in a conditioned space. Again, like I said, it's whether it's in an attic or a crawl space or a basement, uh, because it's the, it's, it's the right way to do it. So um, as I always say with my videos, if you guys have any questions on anything I'm ever um, speaking about on here, you can reach out to me on Instagram at WKP underscore construction. You can find my website, shoot me an email. Um, I will eventually get back to you. Um, but hopefully this was helpful for uh, perhaps, you know, a builder who um, maybe is a little bit newer into the game or a homeowner uh, maybe looking to do a renovation and install a system like this. Um, just kind of uh, some useful um, information um, I thought I'd share about this. And while you're here on the Build Show Network, make sure you're checking out all the other content from my good friends and fellow contributors, Steve, Jake, Brent, of course, Matt. New content every day of the week here on Build Show Network. See you guys next week.